Now, these spiritual kinds of issues, which call into question his spiritual reliability, uh, are compounded by certain revelations in the Quran, which I don't see any, uh, any purpose other than, uh, than satisfying certain desires that Muhammad would have. For instance, uh, Surah 4.3 of the Quran says that Muslims can have up to four wives. But we know from Bukhari that Muhammad had at least nine, if not 11 wives at the same time. So if the Quran limits Muslim men to four wives, why does Muhammad get more? And the only answer is that in chapter 33, verse 50, Allah gives Muhammad a special moral privilege to have more than the four wife allotment. What about the Quranic limitation of four wives in Surah 4? I don't take that to be a Quranic limitation. The Quran mentions marry in, in twos and threes and fours, but it doesn't say anything about five or six or seven. It doesn't say that there is an actual limit. Uh, it's common among Muslim scholars to hold that four is the limit. And then when they go to explain the Surah 33 verse, they say that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had a special permission. But what I see in the Surah 33 verse is that the special permission for the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is that he could marry without giving a, a, a dower. Whereas other Muslims were required, as a matter of fact, to give a dawah. Why was the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, exempted from this? Because he had actually uh, vowed uh, and, and dedicated himself to a life of poverty. It's almost like somebody in one of our modern countries, if, if he has taken a vow of poverty, then he would not pay any taxes. So in this case, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, wouldn't have anything to give in some circumstances. That shouldn't prevent him from being able to marry. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, married for many political and social reasons, just as the kings and queens of other countries marry each other and they cement alliances. The Prophet, peace be upon him, married many women uh, for this purpose, and he needed to have that uh, avenue open to him. Now, Shabir says that chapter 4, verse 3 of the Quran isn't a limitation on the number of wives. Um, if that's his position, I'm, I'm fine with that because my, my point was he was, Muhammad was changing his rules, so I can't say that on that, on that account if Shabir is saying that this uh, is not a chronic limitation, so I will, uh, I will submit that point. 